Thanks, Lewis. Thanks for your service. It means more than you know. Um, so I've had some other people asking about the, the dot count and stuff. Um, so what I would recommend first and foremost is definitely watching Young 46's video on the JC Sneed aim on YouTube. Um, there's some things in there that aren't going to apply too much with what we're doing now. Um, but, oh, yeah, happy birthday, John. I'm sorry, dude. I, like, overlooked that earlier. Um, so, yeah, definitely watch his video. And then I've been thinking about um, doing a video as well. Or not a video, but just like explaining it on stream. So we'll see what kind of putt I got here. It's really tough on some of these greens. Um, you really, I was a field putter for three years. I just started counting dots like last August or something. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll try to go, try to go into that maybe on this next putt. It's not too hard. What's hard is adjusting for the different nuances and things. So we're going to play this. It's 315. I mean, I really think we can play this like a full, full shot. Because full back for me is 322 with this driver. And I like a full, full shot here too. So we're just going to do that. Oh my gosh. I mean, we're on the green, but hey, I just wanted to leave a putt for Lewis here. So... That's what it's all about. All right, so um, can I show my screen? Do I still have my screen view? I took it away. Um, I would have to change it, but I got this little s timer. It's called X Note Timer. It's actually on my screen because um, I play with two monitors. And I set hotkeys to it. So I hit Z to reset it. I hit X to start the timer and then X again to stop it. So what I'll do is I'll try to read the dots. Um, I'm mainly going to be in this one, but I am going to be in this one too. So I'm my ball flight. So I'm going to consider both of these as I'm counting. And I'm just trying to look at... Um, I don't know what that means. Glad one. Um, I'm going to hit and start my timer and also click on the aim box to reset the dots and start them at the exact same time. And then I'm looking for a dot that looks like it's the average dot between the fastest and the slowest. So it's just kind of getting a feel here. So these are much faster. I'm going to mostly play these over here and I'm going with that one right there. So I'm at like close to an eight second dot here. I'm gonna do it again. Now I'm playing like, I'm gonna do a 7.25, 7.25 seconds. I type that into my spreadsheet and there's, there's sheets out there that you can get that have a JC Sneed aim uh, calculator on it. So I forgot to put my distance and elevation in here, so let me do that real quick. And this is telling me to hit this 127% of a grid. So that's a grid and a quarter, right? So here's a grid close to it, and then you've still got to eyeball it. Like, so I'm right here. But if you notice the elevation at the hole, it's 2.8 down, and up here it's 1.9. So I got to hit it a little bit harder than it's telling me to. So if I'm going to hit it harder, I got to take a little bit of that breakout. So I'm going to adjust for that just a little bit, not a ton. It's just an inch or so. So it's telling me it hit it like 59% of my 15 scale. So I'm going to hit this like 61-ish. I pulled it but I'm going to get away with Drained it because it. it was the 15 scale. So that's, I mean, I know it's a quick thing. You can go back through and rewatch this um, after I'm done streaming today. 
you could rewatch it again. But that, in a nutshell, that's what you have to do. I mean, you just thank you. I'm I'm actually glad I made it on the example putt. Like <laughs> that, that felt a little good. <laughs>